Let's look at a problem where there's a pulley uh, involved. Okay, so here's a 32 kilogram mass. It's resting on this surface. Um, there's a coefficient of friction of 0.11, so we're, we're going to use that. Um, and the string goes from that one over this massless, frictionless pulley and attaches to this guy. And of course, the, the weight of this one is going to accelerate this guy down. Okay, so the first step here is to guess the direction of the acceleration. I'm going to guess, and I do believe I'm correct, that this is going to accelerate this way, okay, and that this guy is going to accelerate this way, okay? So that's my direction of the acceleration, and that will determine the positive direction. Positive will be that way, and for this guy, positive will be down, okay? The next step is to set up two F equals MA equations, okay? So for this guy here, um, I think the forces are going to be, let's just draw a dot representing this, this thing, right? I think there's going to be the tension of the string pulling it to the right. I'll call that guy T just for fun. T tension is just force in a string, right? And then there's going to be a force backwards. It's the force of friction, right? So let's figure that out. The force of friction is uh, mu times m times g for this guy. Since it's a level surface, it's going to be 0.11 times 32 times 9.81. Okay. So 0 0.11 times 32 times 9.81. I'm going to store that thing somewhere. That's 34.5312. All right. So now we've got that. Uh, the force backwards is going to be Okay. Now, if we look at this guy here, the force equation looks like this. We've got the tension upwards, right? And then we've got the force of gravity acting downward. Okay. Um, the tension upward is just T. It's an unknown, right? And then the force acting down is M times 9.81, right? So that's going to be 5 times 9.81 is 49.05. Newtons, right? So this guy's 49. Okay, so this is what we have to do. This is the normal things we would do. But the problem is that we don't know the tension and we don't know the acceleration. So we have to set up two equations. I'll show you. Okay, so let's set one up for, and you set up two of these, right? You set up one for each mass, one for this guy, one for that guy. Okay, so for the 32 kilogram mass, our formula looks like this. We've got T minus 34.5312 equals 32a. And then for this guy, we've got, oh, oh yeah, okay. So see, see how the direction of the acceleration was to the right? That makes this guy positive. That makes this guy negative, okay? Okay, now if you look down here, see how we're making the down direction positive? That makes this guy positive. So it's positive. No, normally we make the, the weight negative, but here we're going to make it positive because it's the direction of our acceleration. Okay, that makes this guy negative. So I go 49.05 minus T equals 5A. Now, this is the, the way you do it then. It's the thing causing the acceleration minus the thing preventing the acceleration equals MA causing, in this case the weight causes it, minus that preventing is 5a, okay? So we have a system of equations, we don't know t, we don't know a, and we're going to solve this for, I'm going to solve it for a first and then substitute in and get t, okay? So take a look at this, um, if I just simply add these two equations together, see how there's a positive t and a negative t? t will always drop out of these things if it's a massless, frictionless pulley. Okay, so the simple thing is just add these together, and you get 49.05 minus 34.5312 equals 37a, right? So now we're set. Uh, okay, I'm getting 14.5188. 5188, and then that equals 37 times the acceleration, right? So now I'm going to divide by 37. And I get 0.3924. Okay. 
Okay. And now once you get the, the acceleration, it's easy to find what the tension is. Um, I'm just going to plug it into this equation here. Okay, so tension is equal to 32 times uh, 0.3924 plus uh, this guy here, 34. Okay, so I've got that times 32 plus 34.5312. All right. I get 47.088 for the tension. All right, so I'm getting these numbers. Now, a... a um, a dedicated student would actually take these two equations and plug in the acceleration and the tension and make sure that they are equal, like the tension and the acceleration, and make sure they are equal. Um, I know that I'm right. So anyway, that's what you do. So you, you guess the direction of the acceleration. That becomes the positive direction. Set up two F equals MAs, and then solve the system of equations, which never requires matrices or substitution. You can always just add them together. Boom, you're done.